told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that Hello family, welcome back to another video So today's video, I'm going to be making this hot balm uh, that can be used in every type of hair loss, hair fall, you know, um, a, you know, when you have bald spots, when you have thinny hair, your hair is not going that thin. So, because I'm going to talk about the ingredients in it right now that will make your thinny hair or your baldness to start receiving. Uh, let me say a uh, new trend to grow new hair and it can also be used in fact in every uh, type of hair part of your scalp where you have hair loss and baldness so the first ingredient i added is neem powder so here i am adding horse tea guys i read uh i read some time ago so i was using it but I read just a few days ago, I just saw a post on the Google about horse tea. So I just went further to see and noticed that horse tea is very, very strong and very also powerful. But as you guys know that not all things work for everybody, but as I used to say, if you don't give it a try, you don't know which one is for you. So, um, horse tea is very good to help to block DHT in case maybe you are having your hair loss or baldness due to your testosterone. So, it's going to, or your hormone, if you are a woman, it's going to help to block that deep body penetrate to our scalp. So, the last thing I added is my clove, which you all know. I don't need to explain too much about clove. I've talked about clove always. So the first oil I added is almond oil. So this time I'm using almond olive and shea butter. So fine. Almond oil is very moisturized when it comes to your scalp and your hair. So it deep penetrates more into your scalp and it has this amazing emollient that will help to you know open your pores that will help to moisturize your scalp that will help to moisturize your hair and not only that also encourage hair growth so after all i'm going to take it to my double uh boiling method to make everything to infuse i mean everything well together so i'm going to infuse this for at least maximum for uh, 10 minutes okay so i'm going to be doing this for 10 minutes infuse it thoroughly to make sure everything melts together with the shea butter and all the herbs i've added so another thing i also read about horse tea is that it also helps to boost thickness to your hair it also helps to uh reduce if you have nervous system that is causing your hair to fall it also helps to fight any issue that you know nervous system you are always angry so that can also lead to your it can also affect your hair to be falling so i read that uh horse tea has this ability to you know uh, calm down your nervous system when you are applying it on your scalp and on your hair you know all these things they, they don't only st uh, sit on the surface of your body but they also penetrate into your body okay so i just continue to mix and mix uh until uh 10 minutes as i said for in proper infusion so after 10 minutes i'm going to be adding my b wax you can add any b wax you have the yellow one and the a white one so but today i'm going to be using the yellow one so after that i'm just going to give it a stir a little bit and take it off my double heat boiler because i need to go further so family after removing it from my heat as you can see out but i still left it on the hot water because of the uh, yellow bee wax that is still melting so i just added my vitamin e uh, oil this is to prevent it from going bad from having that smell so that's it so i just going to give it a stir because of the oil i added onto um, the bee wax 
melts down very very well because the yellow one is on refined b wax why the white one is refined a little bit okay but not that much it's still okay you can see but the yellow one is more raw so that's why it takes more time to melt uh, you know fast so after finish stirring for the melting and the oil the vitamin e oil i'm adding so i'm just going to simply uh see if it's to remove any uh, residue so from here i'm going to be adding my other ingredients which and when you when you see it guys make sure you just uh pour it into a jar very very fast so i didn't want to pour it into my jar because it's plastic let's just make those um aluminium uh, jar you can just pour it direct because you cannot melt it down but because this is plastic i'm scared that my just you know deform the plastic jar so right now i'm going to be adding my eucalyptus essential oil to suit your scalp if you have inchy irritation if you have you know any kind of stuff on your scalp and uh, i would advise to add a eucalyptus to it and you are going to see a huge difference from your scalp inchy and all because it's so 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 amazing so this is why i have been using eucalyptus without uh you know any problem so right now this is the amazing sweet beautiful jar i'm going to pour this balm so this balm guys can be used in every i mean every way of hair care it can be used when you are making your corn roll it can be used um when you are doing braid or you, in your dreadlocks if you have dreadlocks it can also be used for pimped hair if you have pimped hair then if you have breakage hair loss thinning hair how many i cannot name them guys you know what you have give this a try and you are going to find a very very amazing result the only thing will be patient if you have baldness be very very patient only with your patient you can be able to exercise that so wait and see growth coming out okay so that's it i'm just going to remove the bubble around uh, the stuff there so this is how it came after it uh, that is it's not yet cooled down completely okay so it's still just in a medium uh, i still a little bit warm anyways so th that is why you see the top it's like this i just want to i'll be playing with it i just want you to show you how it looks so it's going to look this creamy this side is going to help to uh, moisturize your hair your scalp so that's it i hope you love this video if you do please don't forget to subscribe thank you all for watching god bless you all as usual bye bye